Hey guys, it's Mitty here, and today I'm going to show you how there's been a new way discovered to poke a gem Pokemon onto 6th gen. Unfortunately, this probably won't work for too, too long because they'll patch it up with new firmware, but if you'd like to try and do this, you can. First of all, you need to make sure you're on either anywhere from, I think it was 9. 0 to 9.4 on your firmware so in order to check that you can just go into the system settings of your Nintendo 3DS and then you'll be able to see what firmware you're on I think the most recent one right now is 9.4 so if any future updates come out or patches come out for your 3DS then if you have to update this probably won't work anymore so there are two files at the bottom of of, of the um, of the forum post that I'm gonna show you it will be in the description so you can feel free to click it and um, feel free to click it and check it out it also has a bunch of help in case you do run into problems but you're gonna want to extract the file from the zip so I just like to extract it to my desktop it really doesn't matter where you extract it to because it's going to go onto the root of your SD card anyway so basically you can extract those right now and then you're gonna take out the SD card from your Nintendo 3DS and plug it into your laptop as far as I know this really only works for PC right now but this is the root of your SD card for your 3DS then you're gonna wanna I usually just open up a new window and drag and drop but you can do this however you like I just open up a new window where I originally saved my other file to it should be code.bin or something like that but if you search code and wherever you saved it to then it should pop up and that's the file that you can just directly drag and drop into the root of your SD card alternatively you can just winrar and then you can extract the file directly to the SD card as well if you also already have it plugged in. Next, you can make a Pokemon or you can use a Pokemon that they provided for you as a test Pokemon. But if you make a Pokemon using this, make sure that the Pokemon is titled as it um, is it's supposed to be. I think it's like it's supposed to be titled a certain way, Pokemon.ek or EKG or something like that. It's all explained in the forum post, but for the purposes of this video, I'm using the Pokemon that they provided over there. So I'm going to extract that as well to my desktop, and that's also going to go on the root of your SD card. If you're making your own file, then just be aware it has to be titled Pokemon. File extension provided there. I, they tell you exactly what file extension it's supposed to have. So you can look for it in the place that you extracted it to. Just uh, you can search desktop for Pokemon. I accidentally searched for the wrong thing at first, but I, I was thinking of title Hoopa. But yeah, don't title it as the Pokemon you're saving it as. It has to be titled um, Pokemon. It, I think it's EKX or something like that. So that also goes on the root of your SD card so just to be safe the way that I always ex um, the way that I always eject the SD card is to right click it and then once you right click it there is an eject thing just in case it corrupts or anything and then you can put that back in your 3ds go into your Pokemon game make sure in box one slot one you have no Pokemon available because this slot is going to get overwritten so make sure there's no Pokemon here or no Pokemon that you care about. But right now, just make sure there's no Pokemon there because it's going to get overwritten. And then you want to go into the web browser of your 3DS. And that would be this little globe icon. So at the end of this, I will explain how you can delete cookies and history. But if this doesn't work, the recommended um, thing to do by the original poster was to delete the cookies on the SD card so what you can do is type in click the little URL button and you're gonna type in load code dot poke uh, project Pokemon dot org so as long as you're doing this right you'll make you'll know notice that the whole link is being typed in red and you click the right thing make sure you do the URL at the bottom and not the search the search would be the incorrect thing to do and then it's going to pop up with the page now you should come up with a fail to load part of this page leave it like this until you see the web browser crash it's supposed to crash you're supposed to have this an error has occurred and please save data and whatever you click ok you don't have to do anything else except that also then once you checked whether or not you have pokemon in box one slot one make sure you're not on that box exactly you can na navigate to a different box or you can just exit the pc completely and then your box one slot one gets replaced with the pokemon that you uploaded which in this case is a hoopa 
So yeah, this is an exploit. It probably won't be around for long because they can easily patch it through firmware from what I can tell. And I hope you guys enjoy this. I really, I know I'm going to get a lot of discussion regarding like legal legality of Pokemon and stuff, but this is just another Pokesav. Pokesav was really, really prominent in all the past games and it looks like they're just finding new ways to exploit it now. But the difference is now that Nintendo can easily patch these exploits because they can just put out new firmware to do that. So if um, also, if you're having trouble, this is how you can delete the cookies and the history on your internet browser in your 3DS in case some people ask. You can go to the little wrench on the bottom and you click on that. You can scroll and you'll see clear history and delete cookies. You might as well do that just in case before you start this just as, I guess, an extra step. If it doesn't work, you can also do this. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I will have all the links in the description as well as a video to the original poster. And I hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.